If you're watching this video, congratulations. You finally bought that camera that you've watched 20 videos on, has all the specs, and is gonna make you the next Spielberg. But oftentimes, what ends up happening is it becomes an over-glorified dust collector. So today, I'm gonna to teach you how to make money with your camera. first thing that you need to know about videography is that there's tons of avenues that you can go to make revenue with the camera that you purchased. And this doesn't mean that you need to buy the most expensive camera on the market to be successful. Often a very good entry level field is weddings. I've done tons of weddings and have tons of examples and it's a very quick and efficient way to make money with your camera. The way that I book weddings is I'm a part of several Facebook pages called Northeast Ohio Wedding Group or Pittsburgh Wedding Group or if you're in a different state, Florida Wedding Group, Las Vegas Wedding Group. Whatever page is local to you, I suggest you join it and start commenting on wedding posts. Lots of brides and grooms will post on there searching for last minute videography or even if they want to book years in advance. This is wonderful for you because a lot of people book videography last minute, so they often don't want to shell out a ton of money, which is okay. This is okay because if you need experience, you could do a cheaper wedding and build the confidence to book those higher end clients. If you're a beginning videographer, I would highly suggest this route because it seems stressful, but once you've done enough of them, Ultimately, the way I classify it is it's the same show, different people. Once you've done one, you've really done all of them. If you wanna take that next step though, which a lot of videographers enjoy doing more corporate work or company work, it's because there's a lot more money in it and oftentimes you get the reoccurring client. The benefit of reoccurring clients is if they like your work, they will often book you throughout the years to come, giving you a steady flow of financial freedom. I've worked with companies such as car dealerships and small coffee shops. You could do the same type of approach and go online to these social media pages. You could comment and ask them if they're interested in some social media posts, such as vertical videos, Instagram videos, Facebook videos, or even some commercial shoots, which they can then take and post onto TV to advertise their business. Oftentimes this is gonna give you more success financially because those companies typically have the capital for marketing. A lot of people don't realize videography is basically a selling point. You are selling a product, I'm a videographer, you want to purchase me. And one of the biggest things that I would suggest to you guys is have the confidence to reach out to these places. If you don't have social media, what you could do is drive around your town and find local businesses. Sit down, buy some of their merch. If it's a coffee shop, buy a coffee. Sit down, maybe talk to one of the employees about the history and then say that you're interested in potentially forming a partnership to where you can film a commercial for them for free. And then if they like the post, what you could do is then sell them that commercial and then that will build that relationship to help you build future videos for that company. If you found all of these tips helpful on how to make money with your camera, Please follow me, subscribe, like the video, comment, and share for future content for me. I'm looking to upload more videography type stuff and give you guys the keys to success in your videography journey. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.